Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Welcome to another video. So today we're going to work on the Sea Lilies bracelet. And this bracelet uses some of the beads from Beading School Academy box, Sirens of the Northern Sea. So this box, um, I did an unboxing on this a couple weeks ago. And here is a bracelet that I came up with and a pair of earrings. This is from the box as well, this beautiful stone. And I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I will show you how to do how to bezel this, um, pay, do a peyote bezel on this 17 millimeter trillion stone and we'll maybe make some kind of pendant out of this but that will be a future video today we're going to work on the bracelet i'll show you how to do the earrings now just a note if you're if, you know all your materials that you need are in the box the only thing i added was this little couple little jump rings so you I mean you have some jump rings in your stash right so when we go to the materials i'll show you everything else is in the box however you don't have enough of these um ginkgo beads to do both so at least you we're doing the bracelet today i'll show you how to do the earrings um but you can make either the bracelet or you can make you know a couple pair of earrings or you know whatever <laughs> anyway i'm going to clear this off we'll get a materials list going and we'll get started. Let's get the materials this going. So if you have the box, you have everything you need to make the bracelet, as I said, or um, a few pairs of earrings. You'll just need to add four little jump rings. All right, so I'm going to list all the materials in the description box below the video anyway. For those of you who don't have the box, you may have this in your stash. Or you may want to purchase these. Um, so I will put links down below for all of them and amount sizes, everything you need. So you need some ginkgo beads, some three millimeter bicones some mini diamond duos, two millimeter pearls, four millimeter pearls. You'll need a Delica and a 15-0 and an 11-0. These are all Miyuki. Um, you'll need a seven millimeter Preciosa Chiton Rose. Um, it's a flat back uh, in blue violet AB. I used them all. So I put some out that were similar. These are Swarovski, but you want to get a seven millimeter Preciosa Chiton Rose and it's a flat back stone. So I'll um, put a link down below for that. You, you'll need a clasp. This is a box clasp here that came in the box. You'll need a stop bead. Let me grab some. I've got some I'm gonna think six pound fire line right here. So you can use six, you could use eight as well. I like six because it's a little thinner. Um, here's the clasp. I said stop bead, those little jump rings. Anything else? I think that's it. Anything I missed, I'll put in the description box below the video. I'll, link, I'll put a link to the Beading School uh, Academy um, or the beadingschool.com in the description box below the video as well. So uh, I'm gonna clear this off and we'll get started. Okay, let's make one of these components. So thread your needle with about 30 inches of thread, put on a stop bead and leave enough of a tail to sew in. So I have, so I'm gonna pick up one of my ginkgo beads and I'm gonna go through this way. Let's see if I can clear up a little bit. So just like that. And then I'm gonna pick up four 11 O's. I'm gonna sew through the other hole, the ginkgo bead, just to put these four 11 O's on top. Then I'm gonna pick up a 15 O and one of my mini diamond duos, and you want to put this on. So here are my 15-0. Here is my diamond duo, so I'm putting it on, and I'll show you once I get on, through the bottom hole right there. Pull that through, and I'll... And then another 15-0. Okay, so this is what it should look like. You'll have your kinko bead, you'll, you'll have four 11 O's, a 15 O, a, a mini dime duo, and a 15 O. Okay, we're gonna repeat that sequence. So we're gonna pick up, and remember, you're going through the bottom hole, you want that top hole open. So we're gonna pick up the next ginkgo bead. I'll just see if I can work it on the mat. And make sure it's facing in the right direction. It's gonna wanna turn around and Get all wonky, whoops, like that. And then four 11 O's. Through the other hole of the ginkgo bead. Like that. Then your 15 O your 
mini gem duo, whoops, and your 15-0, and it's going to want to just, you know, get caught on your sweater, etc. <laughs> just make sure it's sitting up like that. And you're just going to repeat that. So another ginkgo bead and then these, um, the 15 mini um, diamond duo 15 until you have four of each on your needle, on your okay, So I have all my units completed. So I have four of my ginkgo beads with the 11 on top and four groups of 15 mini diamond duo 15 all around. So I started with the ginkgo, ended with the... Um, 15-0, mini diamond duo 15 -0. You're just going to connect now by sewing through the ginkgo bead like that. Okay, so I've connected my unit and I'm exiting the top hole of a ginkgo bead right here. I'm just going to sew through the 11 O's on top and then through that top hole to the bottom hole of the ginkgo bead. So you want your thread exiting bottom hole of a ginkgo bead. So right here. Next up, I'm going to pick up three delicas exiting here. I'm just going to sew through the next ginkgo bead. Just the ginkgo bead. And you want those three delicas just to sit right in front like that, in front of that mini diamond duo. Then you're going to go through all your 11 O's again, and then down this ginkgo. Three delicas, you got it. Up this one, just the ginkgo bead. They're gonna sit in front of, in front, just like that. Three through the eleven O's, like so. Oops, down the ginkgo, and then you're gonna do that just two more times. Putting on my last three delicas. Gonna sew through the ginkgo bead like that. I'm gonna sew through these two, the four 11 O's down the ginkgo like that, and then up through the first two delica beads. So just like that. Next up, we're going to pick up an 11 O, a Delica and an 11 O. I'm exiting that center Delica right here between the Ginkgos. I'm just going to hop over to the next one right there. So the center Delica of the next three Delicas. Pop that on like so. Pick up an 11 O, a Delica and an 11 O. Exiting the center Delica here. Just going to Skip over to that center delica. The next group of three delicas, just like that. So it looks like. So do that two more times, and then we'll continue. Yeah, I'm on my last group of 11O delica 11O, exiting this delica. I'm going to sew through that original delica we started with, like that. So that center delica, like that. And then I'm going to, I'm coming at the, the center delica here, so I've connected all those. I'm going to sew through the first 11 O and that first delica we put on. Am I? Oh, here we go. Okay, now, so you want to be exiting right there. Okay, so I'm exiting this delica right here. I'm going to pick up a 15 O and I'm going to sew through the next delica. Right there. We're just making a little platform to hold our stone. So exiting this Delica, I'm just going to hop over to this one. Picking up a 15 -0. put your 15 -0 right there. Pick up a 15 -0. Exiting right here, so through this one. One more time. 15 -0. exiting here, so through this guy, right here. And we'll pull, and now you have like a little base going on there. 
Okay, so I'm exiting the Zedelica right here. Now what you can do is you can just go through all the beads you just put on. So you can go through this Delica, the 15 Delica, 15 Delica, 15 Delica, 15 and the Delicas so that you're originally exiting from, just to tighten that up a little bit. So do that and then come back and we'll continue. Okay. So now we're going to move to the front. So I'm just going to keep using the same thread. And I, you know, just looking at this, this is kind of pretty just on its own. You could probably make some sort of component just using this as the, t the top, but we're going to we're going to continue. So I'm exiting this Delica right here. I'm going to do a little bit of a move here. I'm going to go through this 11 -0, so the silver 11 the and these two Delicas right here. So like that. And then I'm going to sew through the Ginkgo bead. I might have to turn it around to get it through because we're going to turn it around anyway. So here we've gone right through those two delicas and the ginkgo bead like that turn them around exiting the ginkgo go through these 11 o's on the top and don't worry about going through the 11 o's so much because those are going to be our connection points and we want to make sure that they're nice and snug so through the 11 o's down the ginkgo like that through this 15 and just the mini diamond duo the bottom hole of it and then through the top hole of that mini diamond duo now if you notice we're on the bottom now so or we're on the actually this is the top even though it's the bottom of the diamond duos so here we go. This is how you want it to look. This is where you want to be situated, just like that. Okay, this is where we are so far. So these are going to be going up here. So, and this reminds me of like some kind of, you know, sea creature that looks like a flower and it looks pretty and in comes a little fish and then all of a sudden, poof. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here we're exiting. The top hole of the, the little mini diamond duo. Just going to pick up your bicone and so through the top hole of the next one. I'll pull the next one. Like that. See how we'll see where we're going? You can pop in your little stone here. Pick up a bicone, three millimeter bicone for the next one. And I think that if you put, don't worry about it, it's gonna flop around a little bit. If you put like a 15 0 in between you could probably use the pearl or the um, the chiton here as well. You need to play with that or whatever. Something in between to just make it a little bit bigger so that you can fit those beads. So this is what you're doing. You're just going all the way around with your with your um, three millimeter bicones and then you're just going to reinforce this until it's nice and snug. We've captured our whatever fish that is in our web or our stone with our crystals and this is what it looks like so far. So I've gone all the way around and I've reinforced to where I'm happy with how that that's sitting and I'm exiting the bottom hole of one of the uh, the mini diamond duos. So exiting a bottom hole I'm going to sew through the top hole like that. That's a little bit more embellishing before we go on. So I'm going to pick up a 15 -0, that little two millimeter pearl, and a 15 -0, like that. Exiting the top hole of this mini diamond duo. I'm just going to sew through the top hole of the next one. So we're just putting a little pearl and some 15 0s over there. That again, 15 -0, pearl, 15 -0 top hole of the diamond duo so through the top hole of the next one just the bead just the mini diamond duo Tino pearl 15 o exiting here so through the next one and so on 
So you're just going to complete that. One, do one more. And then you can sew this thread in because we'll be done with this thread and we'll connect the units with another thread. Okay, so just a note about sizing. I have five units here, so you have enough in the um, the box to make of the ginkgo beads to make five components. And with this clasp, the one that comes with it, my bracelet's going to be about six and a half inches. Now you can adjust the amount of beads in between, or definitely adjust the amount of beads. Um, you know, put something at the end to extend it if you want to make it longer. But you have enough to make about a six and a half inch bracelet. Just wanted to mention my son was here the other day and I was using this ruler and he said mom I had that ruler when I was in fifth grade and I'm in my 30s <laughs> so it's lasted for a long time all right so I so just get as many units done as you think you'll need and then come back and we're going to just what we're going to do is we're going to sew the end unit so two of the end units are going to have the clasp on it right so we're going to so we're going to start with the clasp end and then we'll work our way down so we're going to add the clasp end on first. So we're going to take this one unit and it's going to we're going to add the clasp on. I already did this part of it. This is the box clasp and I think this is called the tongue. So this goes in here like so. So I'm just going to do this one. Um, so it doesn't the, the clasp goes on the same way whether you know whether you're doing this side or this side so it doesn't matter. All right so this is my end unit and I'm going to add this guy on right here. So what I did with my clasp so the clasp comes, I'll pull in a little bit, like this, without these rings on the end. I always do this, I add jump rings to most box clasps so that I can sew in this direction. And these look like very sharp to me anyway, the ones that are on there, so I, I like to put a jump ring here. So I put a three millimeter jump ring through each hole right there so that I can sew in this direction. So grab your jump rings, pop those on, and then uh, we'll continue. Okay, so I'm, I've threaded my needle with a couple of feet of thread. I have my clasp, one end of my clasp. Put on a stoppie, leave enough of a tail to sew in. So here's one end, here are the four 11 O's. You can actually just go through all four just to place your thread on, like so. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna pick up one 11 O and a bicone. Uh, the three millimeter bicone. You could put the three millimeter fire polish here. That would I think would work also. So I'm going to put that on through one of the rings right here. I'm going to pick up the four millimeter pearl and go through the next ring. Make sure you're going straight through. Pop that on like that. Oh, we're having a thunderstorm. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> just like that. And I'm just going to turn it around this way for a second. Then I'm going to pick up another bicone and an 11 0 and I'm going to go through these two. So I'll, I'll hold it open for you so you can see the thread path. So do you see that? So I've got, coming out of here, I've got an 11 the bicone, went through the ring, the 4 millimeter pearl go through the ring, bicone, and 11 and when I pull, that's what it looks like. This is what I have so far. So now I'm going to use this thread to, we want to reinforce, but I also want to do something over here. So let's just continue on this direction. So we're going to move around so we come out here. So here I've come through these two 11 O's. I'm going to th sew, sew through the next two like that. I'm just going to turn it on the back just for a second because it's easier to sew back here. I'm exiting the 11 O. I'm just going to sew through the ginkgo bead. These three 11 O's. And then the next ginkgo bead, or three um, delicas, excuse me. The next ginkgo bead. These four 11 O's, like so. So we went through the last two 11 O's, down the ginkgo, through the delicas, through the ginkgo, and through these four. When I turn it on the front, this is what it looks like. Okay, so I've turned it on the front. I'm exiting the 11 O's on top of that ginkgo bead. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's, the two millimeter pearl, the mini diamond duo, two millimeter pearl on two 11 O's. It's like that. I'm going to sew through these four right here to these four 11 O's. Like that. 
And that adds on that little connection piece right there. Now I'm going to flip it over to the back again, just because it's easy for me to see over here. So that's all it looks like. Exiting the 11 O's. I'm going to sew down through the ginkgo bead. You got it. We're just doing the same thing we did before through these two Delica beads. And the Delicas are there um, because they have nice big holes and it's, you know, you can use them for a lot of, um, you know, for a lot of sewing in, you know, uh, your threads. So here I'm going through, I went through the Delicas and the ginkgo like that. Now I'm going to turn it to the front again. So I still have my tail threads. So I'm going to have to pull that a little bit. Um, and then I'm exiting the ginkgo bead. And all you want to do from here is sew through your 11 O's, all your clasp beads and rings through the 11 O's. And then you're going to turn it on the back. You're going to go through this ginkgo bead and you're going to sew your threads in through those delicas. Like I said, that's why I put them there so that you have lots of big openings to sew your threads and put some knots in. Make sure it's nice and snug because you know that's your clasp end, so you want that nice and tight. And now your clasp end is sort of incorporated into that last unit. Okay, so this is how you're going to be adding all your units on um, from now on. So here we, we've done this guy. You know, that's the same as putting on this one. So it goes on the same way. So we're going to add a thread. Here's another unit here. So I've come through the four 11 O's. I put on two 11 O's, pearl, the mini diamond duo pearl, and two 11 O's. So that's the two millimeter pearl. We're just going to pretty much do the same thing that we did before. We're just going to sew those that through like that, through the four, like so. Okay, I'm going to turn it on the other side and I'm going to work my way around to this side. So just like we did before the other unit, I'm just going to sew through the ginkgo bead and the delicas. So we can get through. Here we go. Like so. Through the delicas. Through the ginkgo. I might have to just, like I said, maneuver your needle around a little bit to get, get through. There we go. And through these 11 O's. Like that. So when I turn it around, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to connect this side to this side. Okay, so now we're going to connect it to this end. So I'm going to, I'm exiting these four 11 O's. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's and the two millimeter pearl. I'm going to sew through the mini diamond duo, a pearl and two 11 O's through these guys. So these four <laughs> 11 O's on this side. You got it. So now you have two units connected and you're just going to sew, you know, sew your threads around, you know, sew around. You can reinforce if you like. And um, yet, so you're just going to keep adding on your units. So you're going to do the next one the same way. And then, of course, your other end, you're going to do just like this one. All right. So get all your units connected and then Actually, you'll get your clasp on. You just look back to when we did this part. You'll add this one on, and then we should be complete with this bracelet. So get that done, come back, and we'll finish up. Okay, so here's our bracelet, and I just want to make sure that you, um, you know, understand all the connections. So we did all these connections. Remember, your very last connection, um, the one at either end is going to have the clasp attached to one end. So, you know, you'll be connecting here, and then you'll come around and put the clasp on. Um, so just wanted to clarify that here it is it's a true six and a half it actually is slightly small for me so i'm gonna have to give this to my friend who has a six and a half inch wrist um so it's a true six and a half inch if you do it exactly this way so i just wanted to let you know that um, as far as the earrings go um, i don't think we need a separate video for this i'm just going to talk you through this it's the same exact unit 
Um, I just came through the four, so I came through the four 11 O's. I put on three 11 O's, the two millimeter pearl. I went through the ear wire, the two millimeter pearl, three 11 O's and down these four. I came around again and actually made a mistake over here. So I have to redo this. So I came through the four. I want, you want to add three 11 O's, the pearl, the diamond, a uh, mini diamond duo, the pearl and here I have three 11 O's here and then through the four so I missed an 11 O here but you know that's generally how you would make the earring I wore the earring all day the other day and it's it hangs beautifully um, I think it goes great with the bracelet so here you go here is your your bracelet um, and this is I'm going to call it the Sea Lilies bracelet um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you have fun making this and playing with these beautiful beads and I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye